Alright, so in this video I want to break down the number one reason why most brands fail on Amazon. So the first one is going to be brand and branding. And too many people have this issue where they're doing product research and they understand how to do product research, but they're doing product research only focused on how much can the product make them per month. Now that's literally hindsight and you're only focusing on one area and you're missing the big picture, right? So number one is only focusing on net profit, okay? Now don't get me wrong, net profit is very, very important. However, what's more important is how can you grow and scale this brand? And in order to grow and scale this brand, we wanna make sure that we're going into a niche or a category where we can actually build a brand around, right? So you wanna make sure that you can build a real brand, okay? Another thing that I want you to look at is what is the exit strategy for this brand? Here on this channel, my number one goal is to make sure that you guys do not make the same mistakes that I made. And this one mistake cost me over $10 million because I've had several brands that I could have sold for eight figures, but I didn't know how to. And I was focused solely on that net profit, that cash flow, which was great. I mean, it made me a millionaire, but I definitely could have had an exit strategy for 20 million, 30 million, or even possibly more. So not only focusing on the net profit and the cash flow, and not only focusing on can I build a brand around this, can I utilize influencers, can I use a brand around this, but what is the exit strategy, right? So the, the next thing that you wanna focus on is what is the exit strategy? One of the easiest ways when I'm doing product research and I'm finding new categories that I don't know much about, I'm gonna go to Flippa or Empire Flippers, and I'm gonna look and see what are the recent EBITDAs that these different brands and companies that are similar are exiting for, okay? And EBITDA st stands for earning before interest, taxes, and appreciation. So what I'm looking at is, can I get the net profit at 30% or 25 to 30%? Can it cash flow? Can I build a brand around it? And can I get the highest multiple out of this niche or out of this category? And what can I do to actually grow that evaluation? Because when we go to sell this business, we wanna get a high multiple, right? So exit strategy slash highest multiple. And again, you can go to Flippa or Empire Flippers and literally look at what similar brands and companies and niches are actually selling for. Now, I definitely recommend setting up notifications so you get notifications for every time a new company or a new brand is being listed for sale for one of two reasons. Number one, it's gonna motivate you. Number two, you're gonna be able to see and be up to date in relevant companies that are listing and selling that are in your niche and in your category. So that way, if there's an increase for some reason or a recent sell, you're not gonna shortcome yourself with the building of your business or the selling of your business. On top of that, you could also always reach out and negotiate and you could merge your company with that company or acquire that company, which is gonna increase your valuation, all right? So number one is only focusing on net profit, not focusing on a brand, because if you're gonna use influencers, you need a brand, right? You can't have influencers. Like I've sold a lot of paper clips and binder clips and mechanical pencils and erasers in the office space niche. And that's cool. And yes, you can build a brand around office space products, but you're not gonna be able to use an influencer approach for marketing with those style products. So there's usually a pro and a con to each category. So I just want you guys to think outside the box for scalability and sustainability. Number two is going to be launch, right? Or launching. Most people do not have a proper launch strategy already formulated in place when they're doing product research or they're ideally finding that first product. They're so tunnel visioned on finding one product with low competition and high demand that can make them 2,000, 5,000, $10,000 a month, which is okay, but they're so focused on that one thing that they neglect. Can I build a brand out of this? Can I use influencers? How am I gonna gather reviews? Where are my clients hanging out at other than Amazon? And how am I going to bring this product to the world, right? So underneath launching, can you use influencers? Yes or no? How will you get your reviews? And we're gonna put 100. How will you get 100 reviews? Okay, influencers, how will you get 100 reviews? And where is your ideal clients hanging out at? Okay, are they on podcasts? Are they on YouTube? Are they on Pinterest? Are they on Reddit? Are they on TikTok? Are they on Instagram? Are they on Facebook? Do they read blogs? Do they read magazines? Do they listen to the radio? Do they watch television? The more you know about your consumer, the more you know about your customer, the better you can market to them. And if the better you market to them, the more effective you market to them, the better the results you will get. So 
Understanding how to do product research. By the way, we have more videos on this channel on product research for private label FBA than any other channel in the world. However, once you understand how to use Jungle Scout or Helium 10, that's only one variable of the equation. You then need to make sure that you're focusing on finding a real brand, asking, you the, asking yourself the questions in step number one. But number two, when you're finding and identifying which product do you want to go with and what category do you want to go with, you want to start planning for that launch strategy. And once you identify, okay, I can use influencers or I don't need influencers. I know I'm going to get 100 reviews by doing X, Y, Z. And my ideal customers are hanging out in these areas. While your product is being made and then shipped to Amazon, you have about that 30 to 45 day window to start launching. The launch plan starts when the product research starts and the execution of the launch starts while your product is being made. So I challenge you to incorporate these two things and think these things through when you're doing product research. And yes, profit margin is important. How much you can net or take home per month is very important. However, don't just focus on that. Think about the bigger picture. How can you build a brand? What's the strategy for building another brand? And how can you sell this business for the most amount of money? Hey, if you got any value whatsoever out of this video, do me a quick favor and smash that like button. Down below, click the subscription button if you're not yet subscribed and click that notification bell next to it so you're notified every single week when we drop new videos on the largest library of Amazon FBA private label videos in the world. You heard it first and remember, you're only one product away.